In today's video, we are going to go over what to do when the bureaus won't reinvestigate. And this is part two. You see, we started a brand new FAQ series for credit sweeps. But instead of moving on to the next question, I'm going to give you concrete proof to show you exactly how to deal with this stall tactic. So you're going to see concrete evidence directly from Experian that proves they only take factual disputes seriously. And I'm going to show you exactly how to handle a refusal to investigate any future disputes. Now, these are three of the things, and only three, that we are going to answer. Disputing a blank will change your dispute timing from 30 days to 45. A violation of Section 611 happens when the bureaus refuse to investigate a blank. And the credit bureaus must reinvestigate when, they, when you tell them blank as required by law. Are you ready? Here we have a direct response from Experian where they're stating, we're not going to reinvestigate these accounts. And I actually had to go way back to 2015 to find this in my vault. So let's take a look and break this down. The first section is very, very clear. They reject you simply by stating that the credit grantor has verified the accuracy of the account disputed. This is basically telling you that you've reached the end of the road and to go away. Now, Section 611 says they can reject your dispute if you submitted the same dispute. Like, for example, if you said it's unknown or unverified and then sent another dispute saying the same thing, they can reject this for that reason. However, my records show that back in 2015, each dispute letter for this client was factual and taken directly from his credit report there and making the statement null and void. Now, what you should take away from this is that when you send a new and relevant dispute, they cannot reject based on Section 611 and must actually reinvestigate. Now, here's the proof that using factual disputes is the only way to beat this tactic. It says, if you have additional relevant information that was not presented when you previously disputed the information. In other words, when you send a new dispute reason that has never been used before, they will reinvestigate the disputed info. And here's the big kicker. When you send in templates, you're not specifying the reason that account is inaccurate. You're basically saying that something is unverified and they have to remove it. However, as you can see here, it says that when you tell them specifically why you believe this account or information is inaccurate, they, repro they process your dispute as required by law. Now, as I said, I've been searching for this info for years and you know, I basically totally forgot where I found it. And here it is. The reason you don't want to dispute annual free credit report is because it turns your 30 day investigation into a 45 day investigation. So if you want faster results, make sure to stay away from free annual reports. And here's why so many companies con consumers into signing up. This says that if the bureaus don't receive a response from the furnisher or vendor within the required period, we update the item as you have requested or delete the information. What they're not saying is that the bureaus normally respond and when they don't, it says they did in their system. And when the creditor or vendor catches up on their paperwork, they can reinsert the accounts even though they were previously deleted. Now, the second to last thing here is what I love about using factual disputes. It says that in some instances, upon reviewing your credit file on any relevant information you have submitted to us, we are able to determine whether the disputed information should be changed or deleted without having to contact the furnisher or the vendor. Imagine sending in a dispute that says this account is unknown or this account is not mine or the account is unverified. They will absolutely have to send it over to the furnisher to investigate. However, if you sent in a dispute that proves the balance is reported differently on all three bureaus or that the required dispute is not entered within the uh, required time frame or something else that is factual and can be proven in a similar fashion, they can remove the account without contacting them. Which would you rather use? Now, here we're on the last statement that they want to drive home. Even though they already said it, unless you send us additional relevant information to support your claim, we will not reinvestigate this information again. So here's the question. What do we do when we receive one of these responses from the credit bureaus and how can we try to prevent? 
See, now we're going to answer that question right now. We've already proven that disputing a free annual credit report will change your dispute timing from 30 days to 45 days. And a violation of Section 611 happens when the bureaus refuse to investigate a duplicate dispute or a same dispute. And the credit bureaus must reinvestigate when you tell them specifically why you believe the information is inaccurate as required by law. So here's the solution, and this is the proactive solution. Now, with your credit report, I recommend one place to consistently pull your report. And I actually use Identity IQ for my clients, and you can find a discounted link in the description. Don't give the bureaus an additional 15 days just because you want a free annual report. Now, your letter should only state why you're writing it, what you want them to do, what you're disputing, and why you're disputing it. That's it. As far as your reason, the dispute reason should specifically state which element is inaccurate, what you want them to do about it, why it's inaccurate, and what the outcome should be. And that's optional, more for uh, late payments. Now, if this does happen to you, you obviously have to handle this reactively. Now, with Section 611, you can state that they are in violation for refusing to reinvestigate a new factual dispute. And this is the beauty of factual based dispute systems because your next dispute is always the next best reason taken directly from the credit report. So that's additional relevant information not having pre have previously been disputed. Excuse me. Now, my recommendation is to use these arguments in your initial paragraph instead of the actual dispute reason because this is going to save you from spinning in circles with the bureaus. So if you want to see this in action, your paragraph one of your letter can basically say, I'm submitting new and relative information and requesting a reinvestigation of the following accounts per section 611. And now your dispute reasons, um, not on your first one, but your second dispute could be delete this account because I disputed it on date and you did not enter the required notice of dispute by date plus 30, which is a violation of section 623. Or delete this account because experience shows a balance of zero. Equifax 2008, and TransUnion 522. As you can see, both of these are specific and factual. So that is how you would handle it reactively. Now, how can you use this to increase your results? I want for you to click on the link in the description to get to this page, um, the entire presentation actually. And I want you to write down how you can use this solution to optimize your dispute uh, strategy proactively and how you can increase your chances of deletions or corrections using this solution reactively. Okay. Now what we went over today was how to handle this when it's verified as accurate and how to deal with the no reinvestigation and two different solutions using proactive and reactive approaches. Now you can check out the next video, which is the six part dispute letter checklist if you haven't done so already. Um, and it basically is going to help you optimize your results using this checklist. That link is also in the description and I'm probably going to tag this on the end screen. Now, now that we are at the end and we've done our recap, I want to let you know that you can actually go to vault.my740.com and access a ton of awesome free content in uh, the member vault on the subscriber top. This will help you learn how to do factual based disputes, or if this is just not something that you want to do yourself, that's totally cool. You can go to my 740, my 740.com and schedule a call with me and I will see if I can help. So that is it for today. Make sure to click on one of the other videos, including the six part dispute letter checklist. That's going to help you increase 